It's that time of year again. You know Christmas is coming when the GBC Open Day is here. Car raffle and puncher prize tickets have been in hot demand and tomorrow the marathon broadcast will begin. Radio Gibraltar will be on air live from the piazza from 9am taking dedications. Yeah, one or two of our listeners might have expected us to be at Casemates. I think we mentioned that a couple of times on the radio, that that's what we would be doing. Uh, unfortunately, this year, the weather's not in our favour, and we thought it was best to switch back to uh, the Piazza. It's a little bit more enclosed, not quite as open to the elements as Casemates is. And it's very much uh, the, the usual. It's um, dedications, song dedications in exchange for donations. So Ian, give us a sense of what the public can expect from Radio Gibraltar tomorrow as things kick off. Well, the breakfast show starts at the usual time, 7 o'clock. Then at 8 o'clock, it officially has that open day elements with spot sales. Um, Stefan and Kelly will have a number of spot sales, which is basically items that uh, local businesses have donated uh, that, that we can sell off. Um, to, to raise uh, money and uh, that will con continue throughout the day. Uh, the open day from the piazza will begin at uh, nine o'clock. It's uh, Lucinda and Glenn up first and then obviously the, the, the full Radio Gibraltar team will be down there until uh, seven uh, in the evening. Although the fundraising event has traditionally been on a Wednesday, it's moved to Thursday this year with the added bonus that football fans will need not choose between the match and the open day. In regards to TV, we're starting at six o'clock and we've got Kids Hour from about six till about quarter seven, half seven. Seven thirty, we've got the Christmas lottery, so everything is happening here. So we're getting the kids out, getting the lottery set in and that's at half seven. Eight o'clock, we're going live with a treasure hunt from La Muga and we'll be setting off the uh, over 100, 150 people who are going to be running around and um, having great fun. If you want to sign up to that, you still can. 8.30, we've obviously got the news. And then at nine o'clock, we're back on right here from Broadcasting House for at least two or three hours. And in case you were wondering, there will be some surprises this year. We do have a lot of live community events this year. So apart from the fact that we're asking you know, anyone who's got a cheque to come here down to, to Broadcasting House and to present the cheque themselves, and we're creating areas on the stage for them to be standing, and it's open house, so they're all welcome to come down. We're also going out into the community. So we're going to have three different live view cameras travelling around. One is obviously following our treasure hunters who are being set off from about 8 o'clock in Namuga uh, tomorrow evening, or just after 8. But then we're also very exciting and for the first time we are going to be driving the car oh, wow. to the winner so Excellent. exactly so that's one live event that's happening which everyone would be looking forward because everyone's going to be sitting at home going oh my god where's it going where's it going is it coming in our direction and then we are sending out ben lynch to three different locations around Gibraltar, so everybody needs to keep their eyes peeled for that in which he's going to be standing in the middle of somewhere and go, hey, the first person to come running down to me right now in your pyjamas is going to be getting a fantastic prize. So we're doing that in three different locations. Remaining raffle tickets for the Mitsubishi Space Star and the Puncher Prize will be available at the Piazza, so head down there to avoid missing out. Come rain or shine, the open day always brings the community together, so be sure to be a part of that and get involved.